What's going on, right, Red Ovion? And in this viewer match replay, we have something released or shared by the Angry Snorlax, aka Getting Sweaty is the name of the the title here. That was a mouthful. Hopefully, you're doing awesome running the GM3 powered. Let's see if we have some fun. This is the general suit that definitely will bait some things out with its tackle ability, but let's see how we go. So, this is the colony drop area, and they decided to do the rodeo rotation here. Uh, number four is looking up. Oh, that's a high power, not high, high armored, thick armored, <laughs> thick armored high Zach. So what's going on? Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna need some help. He will need, he will need some milk too. All right, you have a homie hiding behind you, or more like supporting you. You guys are pushing up. Hopefully, number four can last a little bit. Uh, and ah, so let's see what your teammates are gonna do. Oh, that's very unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Oh, there we go. Combo. So this suit, when you tackle, you have a reduced cost. So you can essentially tackle again. Uh, and it's a very, very misleading suit first time you fight it. Um, you guys are 3-3-1, three, three, three supports, one general, one raid. I mean, excuse me, one support, one raid, and three generals. Uh, full armor. Such a beautiful suit. Oh, no, you're getting tackled. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that dude up there is, uh... He's, he's being a pain point right now. I'll, I'll say that much. Good job, though. Thick! You know, this is basic match, so... There's no worry about being ace, or, you know, when you should or shouldn't die. So that's always a plus, right? Oh, the combo. The combo! Mmm. 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 Kablam. Alright, let's see. So, what, what you all are watching here, um, when suits have, you know, two to three melee weapons, there is a possibility of kind of stagger locking people but it requires weapons that you know you could probably swing it once or twice um it's not it's not the easiest thing to do but once you get it down you can literally run you can run circles around someone between shifting your melee weapons from one another let's see if we get it here oh nope look at the gm powered it has actually a nice kit Like I feel like it's it's a suit some people sleep on, myself included. As much as I don't run generals, I do respect it. Oh dang. Alright. Oh ooh. That dodge was nice. That dodge was nice. Playing very, like, aggressively on the front line here. Almost like a tank. So it's actually really good. Oh, these stairs. Can you handle their GM? Oh, you know, he can do it again. Oh! The downswing caught him. Ah, oh, man. Well, not bad. You guys are only down by about 600 or so. Oh. And it's a little bit more now. Mm. All right, let's see. The positioning for everyone, you see the, the support is kind of not up in the front line, but it's kind of mid-range, which is totally fine with that suit. Uh, I don't know if anyone's fighting him right now. It doesn't look like it, but fingers crossed here. All right. Oof. <laughs> They're using that high ground to shoot down and get that range on people. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. All right, so there was probably like a few clips you probably could probably could have saved during that section but I mean given how the g fast that gun reloads I think every bullet counts with that thing hit him this thing not have combo controller ooh yes very nice that tackle does a lot more like a lot when you when you can tackle and not uh, overheat, 
you can use that as such as what we just saw in a combo. This dude gave up. This dude gave up. Bro, you heard this dude's feelings? Come on, man. Dang. <laughs> My man. He lost the will to live. There we go. Even if this doesn't have melee combo controller, and again, I'm not too caught up with this this thing's kit in terms of having melee combo controller or not, but that downswing comes out relatively fresh. Not fast, but fresh. All you need is to confirm here. Oh, now your team is actually sticking together very well. They're kind of... They're playing very passively. You have that person in the back. I think that's probably the full armor. But the downside of them staying up there is you have the cover here. And that's not going to bode well for them. Like, this guy right here, he's going to he's gonna have shots on some of them. but Which is why some of them should actually move, uh, move further away from this line of sight. Because they're just going to keep getting popped. And the more, the more time you give a, a support like that... Um, free reign, the longer they're going to be a pain in the butt for the generals. So either that support needs to get shut down, or that line of sight needs to change for you guys. Although they're playing passively, I think they, they've had a more ideal situation in terms of positioning. Now, that doesn't mean they're fighting better, um, or you guys are fighting any, any worse. It's just that it's working out um, for y'all in terms of points. Oh, I see someone if they're going to take that point. Yeah, with a minute and 20 left, I think it'll be important to lose your suit so you have like at least one fresh life left. Otherwise, you'll be, you could definitely be panicking uh, being the possible last kill. Or after this, oh, good counter. The life save right there. Very nice. Very nice. Using the tackle to go through the explosion, that's very clever. I, I do like that, if that's what you're going for, because otherwise this suit would have gotten staggered, because I don't think this has explosive armor or whatever the skill is to save you from being um, flinched. Uh, shout out to the team coming to help your boy out, because I love it when teammates do that. I like to do this, and I love to see other people do it. Now, they could very much come back and win this, if we're not careful. All right, let's see what's about to happen. This is the last skirmish. If they're going to push or not, they have about 15 seconds of fighting. If that, yeah. Yep, good good job looking out for that support fire. Ooh. Nicely done. So here's what I like what this team did. This team did not try rushing in with the lead. All right, you guys were kind of, you were kind of middle ground, right? Like you weren't. You weren't really pushing, but you weren't really retreating. You're just holding your ground. I love you. I hope they love you too, Angry Snorlax. That was nicely done. I like them colors too, though. Very nice. Nice uh, damage there. Ooh, I love to see it. I love to see it. All right. So, as always, thank you so much for submitting your videos, everybody. So, I just want to say that um, this was fun. Thank you for submitting this. Uh, I haven't seen a, a powered in quite some time have we had done any it doesn't matter getting back to it like legit i don't use this suit enough i probably only used it maybe once ever but i've encountered it a handful of times to know that this is one of the suits that has the refund i won't say refund but the reduced thruster tackle ability which is really really cool and you can get caught so if you're fighting a gm3 powered everyone make sure to be careful of the tackle because it is going to be baiting you out hard as well as props to you snorlax for actually using the tackle more offensively and evasively like this right here when you go into this combo absolutely beautiful i love seeing stuff like this and i love seeing plays like this a strong strong example of how players can get very creative with particular skills and particular suits now going into this match you guys uh definitely did not have a strong start uh this full armor gun was kind of putting in work here and for a little bit he was raining raining uh the hate on you guys but 
eventually you're able to succeed. Now, at the very beginning, you guys did have the round round rodeo, and uh, I guess it worked out for both teams involved because it was kind of like an exchange here. But again, another beautiful tackle, which I really, really like. But you're, you're really low at this point, so it's just like, yeah, whatever. You can lose your suit, but you can get whatever damage you can. Now, this right here is important. When... Oh, I didn't think it's coming up. Anyway, uh, when you start uh, attacking people, every, like just anyone in general, um, make sure to time your stuff properly. Looking at their health bar, when it's like... When it's glowing, that means they're in full. So it's not really going to... Um, do what it needs to do. It's not going to hit them. They're in Vuln at that period. So if you time your attacks while the in Vuln drops, it will land and you will do good damage. Now, what I saw earlier, and I just saw it maybe once or twice, when using the the other, not the beam rifle, but the assault rifle, I believe it was called, um, make sure that you halt the firing, yeah, the GM rifle, halt the firing through walls and stuff, because it has only 18 bullets or so, and it really sucks to miss like three to four of those bullets, because they can go along with, that's a, that's a strong gun, in my opinion, I think it's a pretty strong gun, um, so definitely don't hesitate to use it, just be very mindful when you do use it. This is a perfect example. The not this was before the support was up there, but the enemy team used this point a lot, and the full armor uses it for a few minutes, kind of untended. Because I think this is him dropping it now. He's going to go up there and just chill. Either way, uh, I know you guys had a raid, but it, their their front line was very aggressive, very strong. Uh, it was hard for him to get through, especially with that positioning he had. Now, fortunate for your team that your support was a, a good team player. So it looks like they did a good job trying to stay mid-range, uh, just going off the map here. Um, this was, let's back up one juicy second. So this beam rifle, everyone be very careful because uh, you shoot it once, you miss, you have a long cooldown, otherwise it's going to overheat. But uh, that GMB rifle is very potent, very useful. A lot of uh, suits utilize it to kind of close the distance. Uh, it doesn't have the best range, but man, that instant stagger is very, very, very nice. Now, uh, your next life when spawning in, this was the big, this was it right here. This was the beginning of the end. Uh, this was a beautiful confirm, but this was also what I was talking about right here, and it's very, very small things. So let's see. You're shooting, 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 one, two, three, like maybe three to four, if not five bullets hit the wall, not counting numbers, but if you be very, if you wait just like a second or even a half a second, you could, you could probably have those land, but the trade off is you're unsure if they were able to uh, get away from you fast enough. So, I mean, I get it. I'm not going to really fault you. You want to make sure he's dead and with the guy up here, you want to do it sooner than later. But again, this is a perfect example. I believe he's going to go try to, um, handle this support or at least peel some people off giving you a chance i don't think you guys needed four on two here if anything uh these three probably should have pushed out a little bit more because this guy went back there to die and that's essentially what he did right he went back there to look for the support unfortunately he didn't have any support in that <laughs> in that activity mind you that goes to show in some cases you have it's better to stick with the team i don't i feel bad for that race he was definitely trying to do his job but because of them having four people three to four people over there it didn't work out in his best interest they had three you guys had two excuse me um yeah but time and time again throughout this match i definitely see you utilize your tackle and it makes me excited and it makes me appreciate players like you when you use a tackle not only to just a counter, but again, to put in a combo because there was an instance where you actually down swung someone uh, and you go into a counter to kind of finish them off. And that is the kind of stuff that uh, new, newer players won't understand. But when you tackle, it does do damage and certain skills allow that your damage to do more. May it be with a shield or just granted ability. Make sure to read those skills before you use a suit so you can understand more strengths than its weakness or in some cases a suit's weakness but uh it was very unfortunate running into the jetta swing here but you guys proved to you know pull it off at the end of the day now i will say that <laughs> i'm mad that guy got away but even more 
you guys pulled it off. So, I mean, don't beat yourself up about anything. I think all in all, this was a really good match. Very good. Um, very good foundation here. And hopefully some of you guys playing suits with these tackle abilities or stronger tackles, get creative with your tackles. Especially if you can get, you know, a reduced tackle cost to try it it's really fun it's really dope and a lot of times your teammates uh would appreciate it when you don't die when an enemy doesn't anticipate you tackling twice now go forth be awesome stay vigilant with your rotations and of course snorlax thank you so much for submitting this if any of you watching this video want to submit some footage for just some feedback critique or just some fun play-by-play -play stuff Check the description below, do the thing, and let's have some fun. But that's all I have for this viewer match replay. I hope you have a great day, great evening, great morning, wherever you're at. Remember, fun first. Hmm. Stay out of trouble. Until then, nothing but love. Peace.